Hey guys, it's Sinizuka here, and today was the day that Call of Duty World War 2 had their reveal trailer come out. During a live stream where they gave loads of information out on the game and played this trailer two times, which you have now in the background. It has no sound because I might get copyrighted, so I just have it playing in the background. I won't fully analyze it bit by bit. I'll just say the main things that I see in the trailer that I saw in the trailer and I saw from the live stream. So if you want to go watch the trailer, check the link below. It'll give you a link straight away to the trailer with sound. So what I found from the trailer in the live stream. So it is set in World War II, just like the title says. The title was confirmed to be World War II specific. Uh, they concentrate a lot on the campaign. The visuals, you can see it looks great. The game looks beautiful. And the weaponry will be World War II weaponry. So it's going to be a very similar game to World at War. So if you're a fan of that game, you're in for a treat. A lot, a lot of fans on Twitter is blowing up saying that this might actually be the best Call of Duty ever made if done right. And I agree. So why? Because World War II, it's, it's, it was the greatest shooting games. You know, World at War was so fun. It was so good. Boots on the ground, finally back. No jetpacks. You know, the original way COD was, how good COD was originally was through being boots on the ground. So... Getting it back is a big positive. Um, so the weaponry mine will probably include guns like the PPSH, but guns which are confirmed are such as the the saw, I believe, is the name of the the MLG, uh, the MLG. Wow, the LMG. That's the name of the MLG, I'm pretty sure. And also M1 Garand, as you can see, you saw it there. It's confirmed, of course. That will always be confirmed. I'm pretty sure. A submachine gun like the Scorpion will be involved, something similar. You can see at the end of the trailer, actually it's right here where the man is holding it. So yeah, the trailer is pretty exciting. We see a lot. Uh, it's going to be released on November the 3rd. And if you pre-order, you get a beta. I believe this beta will be around October time. So similar to the IW beta. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to pre-order if you really do want the beta. And um, talking about what we all, all want to know the gameplay features so what the live stream said is that i don't know i don't know if this is just for single player it'll be interesting if it was for multiplayer too but i do believe it will only be for single player is the fact that you do not regen in this game so what that means it's going to be similar to battlefield if you get shot and you're like on minimal health you're not going to regen your, your screen will go away from being red but you're still going to be on minimal health you'll still be one shot you'll still be a one bullet kill Unless there are medics, so of course, it, of course the game's going to have something like that. You're not just going to leave people lying around basically half dead for half the story or, or the map. I don't think this might be a multiplayer because it will be interesting to see, you know, someone in a team in multiplayer having to run a med kit to give other people. But I think that's just copying Battlefield too much. So I don't believe Call of Duty will go that, down that route. But in single player, it is something to replicate the war that without a med kit, you are not going to regen health. Well, I do like that. I do like that. I do believe it's going to be the first campaign I play in a while. Well, I did play the Black Ops 3 campaign and enjoyed it a lot. I haven't touched the IW campaign at all. Or the Modern Warfare Remaster for that matter, simply because I did play it back in COD 4, so I just feel no need to. So, yeah. I think it's going to be a very interesting campaign, which is going to be set, of course, throughout the world, uh, the Great War, the World War II. Uh, it's going to be set, you know, in Europe. I don't believe, uh, I think what they said is going to, you're going to have the Battle of Normandy and stuff like that. But if you really do want details in single player, just go watch uh, the trailer or just read an article on it. Because I want to talk about the multiplayer. So, what we can see here, it's an image of some sort of headquarters with loads of usernames above everyone's head. So what I believe this is, they show this, this was the only sneak peek they gave for the mobile player. So what, what I believe this is, is that it is some sort of like a, an open world of the multiplayer. I think it could be the menu in a way. So you come here and you can, you know, party up with players and then go into games by just walking around. Like similar to a GTA kind of style kind of thing. Or even like... Uh, it's like a pre-game lobby kind of thing. Maybe you can just walk around, talk to players, meet people, and even trade. Maybe trade black market items. Since black market has become such a big thing in the Call of Duty franchise. And it's such a big thing for them to make money with the COD points and stuff like that. So it might be a good idea to, you know, trade stuff between each other here. So it's some sort of like a pre-game lobby, lobby kind of thing. Maybe menu for the multiplayer. I find it very interesting. It's like set in a... In the headquarters of like an army you know it's very realistic in a way and it makes you makes you get engaged with the game you know it's just not sitting there in a premium game while we're waiting to start if it is like this this is my guesses you know they said this is part of the multiplayer we don't know how but this is my guesses and i think if it is that that would be quality it would be great now moving on to one of the main subjects of the video modern warfare 2 remastered has been rumored everywhere i've seen videos everywhere here and there articles here and there saying modern warfare remastered is going to be a thing so 
is it a rumor currently yes it hasn't been officially confirmed when i saw it and i thought i literally thought it was confirmed that jizzed in my pants because it's my favorite call of duty that and black ops 1 and probably like oh, so yeah, there's too many call of duty, but modern warfare 2 is what made me start to play call of duty consistently and love it so the reason why there's so much speculation around it believe me it's going to happen is because iw had the remastered you know it had the modern warfare remastered and it was such a success probably iw wouldn't have sold it without the remastered but i'm going to give points for why it might be a remastered game modern warfare 2 next year or in why it might not so we're going to start with the negative why it might not well why might not is because Sledgehammer did not make Modern Warfare 2, so it would be unlikely for them to make it. And two, the World War 2 has already such a promising background that if you make Modern Warfare 2, you're just gonna drift away from the fact that COD is coming back to boots on the ground. So if you produce a Modern Warfare 2 remastered with another boots on the ground game, it's gonna be like, okay, uh. It, it, I'm gonna play Modern Warfare 2 straight away because I know it. Some people might just drift away from the fact of World War 2 and might not pay attention to it. So the reason why they made a remaster this year is because they knew it was their last jetpack game, hopefully, and so they believed that you know it would. It, they needed to to please the fans in some way and give them boots on the ground this year for a second game. So if someone doesn't want to play IW, they can just play Modern Warfare Remastered, which is fresh. It's kind of fresh and it's you know boots on the ground. So that's what I did, but. What I possibly think that these rumors may be true is because just like Modern Warfare Remaster was made, it was made by a different developers to IW this year. It was actually made by the original COD 4 developers, simply just making it better graphics. So it could be the same case for Modern Warfare 2. The people who made Modern Warfare 2 are not the same that made, which are making World War 2. So they could just be working on the same on a different project. And it'll be great to see. So if they can, it, since they worked so well remastered this past year, because of, trust me, they wouldn't have sold as many copies of IW if it wasn't for remastered. Maybe they're going to try again it would World War 2. And I'd love to see it honestly i'd love to see modern warfare 2 remaster that game is amazing absolutely amazing but if i do think it's likely well right now i really don't especially after that they didn't say anything about modern warfare 2 remastered in the trailer as well when iw when they started giving out stuff about iw i'm pretty sure they mentioned it straight away so that is all for me that's the all, for, all information i have uh if you want to see anything else i do have a website down below that you can read stuff about the remastered and I also have the link to the trailer so i hope you enjoy that if you want to stick around for any more information be sure to subscribe to my channel and comment what you think about the world war 2 game for next cod anyway thanks guys that was indies again take care slightly slightly it was on a friday friday i know it was slightly slightly it was on a friday friday on a Friday evening, and I was slightly steaming. Saw this girl like she's quite decent. She saw me like he's quite decent. I said hello.